Now that Kamala Harris has been absolutely obliterated in the Electoral College and the popular vote, the blame game has begun. Do you think they're going to do some introspection and try and figure out where the Democrat Party went wrong? Nope, absolutely not. They're just going to point fingers. Democrats rage at George Clooney for pushing Biden out following Trump's blowout victory. It's all his fault. I think that it's actually possible that had Biden stayed in the race, it would have gone a whole lot worse for the Democrat Party only because of his poor performance at the debate. The fact of the matter is, while Harris was the only candidate that was being mentioned that was less popular than Biden, the media actually did do a pretty decent job of falsifying her popularity with fake polls and a lot of manufactured excitement. They astroturfed her to performing relatively well, better than Biden would have performed if uh, if he'd been allowed to stay in the race. However, she just couldn't make it past the mark because she was still a terrible candidate. The Democrat was just, or the Democrat party in the mainstream media were just able to hide that from you for about 80 days and then she debated and started going on podcasts and interviews. And that's when it fell apart again. If she had gone with that strategy, the strategy she had late in the campaign, Early on, she would have actually performed worse than uh, than Biden would have done. But the fact remains, she still performed better because, again, the media was c- carrying her water. George Clooney specifically is being attacked by disparage or by despairing fans in the wake of Vice President Kamala Harris's humiliating defeat in the 2024 election campaign after the actor demanded President Joe Biden step aside in her favor. As Breitbart News reported, the Ocean's Eleven actor 63 notably penned an op-ed for the New York Times in July where he called on Biden 81 to abandon his presidential campaign, writing, we are not going to win in November with this president. And he was right. It just turned out that they couldn't win with Harris either. He continued, this isn't only my opinion. This is the opinion of every senator and congress member and governor who I've spoken with in private. And by the way, it wasn't Clooney's fault. Clooney didn't do this. Uh, Harris, Pelosi, and Schumer pushed him out. It wasn't Clooney. It was the donor class and the uh, the elites in the Democrat Party that made it happen. Clooney just made an op-ed. But, you know, the Democrat voters, the fans, so to speak, they don't understand the inner workings of politics. All they understand is what the mainstream media tells them. And now they have a convenient scapegoat uh, instead of blaming the actual terrible policies of the most left-wing party in American history. Um. The lifelong Democrat called on the party to find a replacement candidate. Clooney later praised an obedient Biden for being selfless when he announced he would be stepping aside on July 21st, leaving Harris to embark on a fated 107-day campaign to try and overcome Trump. Critics are now offering their sarcastic thanks in the wake of Harris' demise. Uh, elsewhere, a or sorry, here we go. This is, uh, this is from Joshua Hartley. Thank you, George Clooney. Uh, Elsewhere, a veteran-led political commentator group called Alt Noah typed on X, someone bring me George Clooney. We need to have a talk. That sounds threatening. Another critic sarcastically observed, I would like to take a moment to thank George Clooney for shoving the most incompetent candidate down America's throat to ensure Trump victory. He was only, or she was only the most incompetent because Biden's dementia made him so obviously incompetent that they removed him. He still would have been more incompetent, but only barely. Uh, Trump should not forget to thank Hollywood celebrities, especially George Clooney, says Fritz Dielman. Clooney wasn't the only figure to call for Biden to step down. Author Stephen King and former Speaker of the House of Representatives Nancy Pelosi also called publicly for the octogenarian to quit the race, while Barbara Streisand commended his decision to drop out. The fact of the matter is the Democrats were in between a rock and a hard place beginning in 2019 when they started running uh, Joe Biden, who was already experiencing symptoms of dementia, and it was beginning to become more and more obvious as that campaign ran on. They hid it and lied about it for just about five years, and it just came out a little too late for them to make any changes. Till next time, thanks for watching.